Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video on cable loss. Um, I'm going to be building a GMRS repeater here, and it's quite interesting on the cable loss, how much power uh, you lose at the end of the cable, even before you screw it into the antenna. So I have a website here. I'll post this link in the description. Um, this website has it two ways. You can either select here what type of cable in the drop down uh, menu or if the selection you have is not there you can manually enter it down here. Uh, so you can if you know the information you can enter it down here and then calculate that way. In this case I'm going to go with the uh, uh, LMR 400 cable for an example uh, 50 feet I picked this, this is, there's eight repeater channels. I picked the middle one just for this demonstration, kind of midway. Uh, if your SWRs are low, that also makes a big difference. If you have a, a high SWR, that's going to make your power output even less more. Um, and then here, we're doing about 26 watts. That's what the uh, amplifier I'm getting will do. And here is the output so uh, it's about a 7 watt loss from 26 down to 18 uh, which is uh, you know so so I mean there's better cable out there uh, of course that gets real expensive so it depends on how much you want to spend the cable that I'm gonna get is about 50 feet that's why I put 50 feet here uh, but like I say, it, it just depends on how much you want to spend on, on cable. The best way to do it, obviously, is to have short cable as possible. If you're able to mount your repeater inside of an enclosed uh, unit, like inside of a metal box or, or some bad effect, and then mount that up on the tower with the antenna and only have like a foot of cable, that would be ideal. Of course, you'd have to run power up to the to the repeater itself. But uh, from my uh, you know understanding and and playing around with this this cable loss is a it can be a real big thing if you don't get the right cable, especially at the right frequency. So you got to make sure you double check all that before you order your cable. And uh, you know even if I change this, if I put this to a hundred feet and I hit calculate. I mean, we're dropping. I mean, it drops pretty quick. And uh, so that's something you want to kind of keep in mind. Like I said, I'll be doing about 26 watts approximately. I will do a video on the actual cable loss. What I'll do is I'll hook a 50 foot, uh, my 50-foot cable to the repeater, and at the end of the cable I will hook up my power meter and we'll see exactly how much of a loss we're getting. I'll do a video without the cable and a video with uh, with the cable. So, um, but yeah, that's that's what that's what we'll do there. Uh, you know, just to uh, even get more precise, we will definitely do a video on that. But at any rate, I'll post this website in the description below, and uh, you guys can check it out. Any uh, questions? Just post them in the comments. And thank you, and have a good day.